Welcome to the Western Pacific Regional Fishery Management Council's Fish Forever podcast about sustainable fishing through effective stewardship. In this episode, we learn about a bottom fish tagging project being conducted in Hawaii that's contributing to our knowledge of these elusive but tasty fish. Bottom fish inhabit different environments during their lifetime. After hatching, the larvae start up in shallower reef, then move into deeper waters as they grow. Understanding more about these fish, as well as the other organisms that inhabit both the shallow and deep slope reefs, will help us to better manage and protect these valuable resources. Fried, sautéed, or steamed, Hawaii's deep seven bottom fish are some of the most popular fish in our markets. During the year and holidays, Onaga can fetch more than $30 a pound, and Opakapaka is one of the local favorites in homes, as well as some of the finest restaurants. But there's a limit to every resource. To ensure the fishery's future, researchers are trying to learn as much as they can about this precious fishery. How many fish are there? Where can they be found? Do they migrate? What's their life cycle and how fast do they grow? To find out, the Pacific Islands Fisheries Group helped institute a bottom fish tagging program. Kendall Wong of the PIFG explains. The bottom fish tagging program is a cooperative research project um, between the National Marine Fisheries Service, um, the bottom fish fishing community, and um, Pacific Islands Fisheries Group. They wanted to get more data from the fishermen, so we formed this cooperative research project to do so. And basically the goal is to capture, tag and release 3,000 um, of the deep seven bottom fish. Tagging 3,000 fish is no small task. To help get this done, the PIFG recruited expert help. The fishermen that are involved in this project are commercial and recreational bonafish fishermen who are willing to um, do the science for us. They were recruited and trained by Pacific Island Fisheries Group to help us with this project. We didn't really have to convince the fishermen to do this. What we did was we explained what the project had entailed. We told them how it could save their resource instead of deplete their resource. The fish tagging process is simple enough. After being brought aboard, the fish are quickly identified for species and measured. Then a special applicator is used to apply a dart tag into the fish. The tags are imprinted with a unique ID number, along with a contact phone number that fishermen can call to report their catch. Immediately afterward, the fish are sent back into the deep. Sometimes the fish come up with this um, thing called barotrauma. Almost all of the bottom fish have something called a swim bladder. It contains air and helps the fish control its buoyancy. But when they're pulled to the surface quickly, the air in the swim bladder expands faster than the fish can vent it. The expanding air causes the fish to get bloated, and it's this bloating that's known as barotrauma. And it can prevent a released fish from getting back down to the safety of the deep. This hollow needle is used to deflate the swim bladder. If the fish's stomach has expanded outside the fish, that too is pushed back into place. Fish that have gone through this do survive the process, and recovered fish tags prove that afterward they're doing just fine. So far, we have about 1,500 fish already tagged in the wild. The data that we've collected so far through the recaptures that Opakapaka, for one, has traveled into island. Fish tagged near the island of Molokai have been recovered near Lanai. Other fish have been recovered near Oahu. This movement is an important aspect of managing Hawaii's fisheries. But to gather this critical data, the PIFG needs the help of all bottom fishers. So if somebody should catch a fish with one of these tags in it, if they could call us, Pacific Islands Fisheries Group 265-4962, we'll be asking them a series of questions about the general vicinity where they caught the fish, how big it is, date of the capture, the time, and in return, they'll get a letter from us stating where and um, when the fish was captured previously, and they also get a special t-shirt. This bottom fish tagging project is a cooperative effort among fishers, researchers, and industry experts, which is building a better understanding of one of our most valuable fisheries. Projects like this one support effective coral reef management and conservation so we can enjoy our local fish forever. Please join us again for another Fish Forever podcast brought to you by the Western Pacific Fishery Management Council.